Main article. Imperial Corps of Bioengineers. The universe is old. We are running out of time. I desire progress. Dr. Silo V. One of the Empire's most ambitious scientific developments was the Death Star, a moon-sized, deep space mobile battle station designed to fire a single planet destroying superlaser powered by massive kyber crystals and built in orbit of Geonosis. Started by the Galactic Republic during the Clone Wars and continued under the leadership of Krennic, who oversaw the Imperial Military Department of Advanced Weapons Research, which was responsible for the completion of the long-delayed project, this was supported by a complex logistical network of bases. The Empire was also believed to have created many other superweapons, such as the Onager-class Star Destroyer, a type of capital ship that utilized a kyber crystal superweapon, the Mass Shadow Generator, which was rumored to exist in real space and hyperspace, the Torpedo Sphere, a siege platform and space station, or the rumored asteroid Dreadnought, which was camouflaged as space rock, the Omega Frost, an interstellar freeze ray, and the electro-proton bomb, defoliator, which was based on the Republic's electro-proton bomb from the Clone Wars. The Dark Trooper program, deemed a failure, led to the Empire's disillusionment with battle droids. Operation. Cinder oversaw the use of climate disruption arrays, which were satellites modified to provoke storms once the beam reached through the planet. Experimental starships including the TIE, IN Interceptor and TIE-D Defender pushed the Empire's technical capabilities, and introduced concepts and technology that would be reincorporated in future ship designs throughout the New Republic era. A group of Sith scientists used alchemy and science to develop Project Blackwing, to achieve immortality, with the project being based out of a secret research facility on Dandoran. However, the project went awry when a virus known as, the Sickness, was accidentally created and killed its hosts, turning their bodies into intelligent cannibalistic zombies known as undead troopers. Imperial scientists working on Project Celestial Power also tried to contain dark matter quintessence. The Emperor himself had planned to further push the boundaries of what could be accomplished without the Force, creating cybernetically enhanced super soldiers under the development of Dr. Silo at his heavily guarded research base. Owing to Vader's failure to protect both the first Death Star and weapons factory Alpha, Palpatine planned to eventually form an army of cybernetic soldiers as his primary enforcers, reducing Vader's position as apprentice to a mere ceremonial role. The Imperial Mining Institute also existed under the New Order, while the Imperial Department of Military Research helped boost the combat forces of the Empire, developing the widely used Stormtrooper armor and the ITO interrogation unit along with the 9D9S54 Dianoga spy droid. The Empire also initiated Project Harvester, a clandestine operation designed to root out children with force sensitivity and detain them at an underground facility connected to the Arcanus Academy, located on the outer rim world of Arcanus.